Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? So uh, this go around, what we're going to be talking about is Venus in Aries. You know, we got the planet Venus, the planet of love, appreciation, values, and how we relate to one another. You know what I'm saying? So so like to to decipher the vibration of what Venus does, we have boatloads of text known as the goddess of Venus trying to be explained through whatever freaking I forget if it's like I'm going to say it's like roman mythology for what that is but uh but yeah you know we got boatloads of text explaining how this uh about basically the vibration of this but i'll just tell you about the planet so love appreciation values and how it relates to others so when you love and appreciate something you're like oh my god we'll take an idea for example or like a song like you really like a song right what's the what's the what's the step you know the couple steps after you like a song so you're vibing to it you're like uh uh, 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 uh. For a lot of people in the U.S., we got, you know, when Drake comes out with a new song, you're like, oh, shit, God's plan, God's plan. Let me go down to Florida and give a bunch of people a bunch of money so they don't think it's me getting mad at XXXTentacion for calling me someone who steals beats so I can stay famous. Yeah, you know, and that's what he did with his million-dollar budget for, uh, for, um... For uh, what should we call it? God's plan or whatever the hell that thing was. I don't know. That was just my little thought on uh on that whole situation. But you know what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to trigger to get people attention so they can pay attention to me and my astrology career. You know, I mean that's what it is. Hey, I told you my intention, man. You can't hate on it, even if it is a crazy conspiracy theory. But you know, this is this is you know I'm <laughs> I'm certainly loving myself and talking about what I want to talk about in this situation, which is kind of what Venus and Aries people do. Anyways, well, with my little uh, getting sidetracked ramblings on freaking Venus, let me talk about Venus in through the lens of Aries, you know? So, Aries is cardinal fire, initiating, creating new ways of seeing and how to feel about things, you know? And it's come from the first house, so their psychological word is the I am. So, love, reach, and values plus I am. Let's take a wild stab at what this possibly plays out as. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Venus and Aries people obviously loves themselves. And you, if you need a visual representation for how this looks, look at me, man. I'm in a bathrobe in my motherfucking crawl space. In a bathroom in my crawl space, man. Now, if I were to be a Venus and Aries, not saying I am, but I could be for all you know. Ooh, mystery. You know, I could, this, we got, we got two ways of going about this. I could either be like, yeah, man, fuck, fuck if all of I got a freaking, a freaking crawl space. You know, I'm going to love myself anyway, man. I'm going to enjoy myself, pamper myself, indulge into my desires a little bit and do what I got to do, you know, which can look at if all you were to live, if all you have is living arrangements is a crawl space. This is probably what it would look like. You know what I'm saying? Look, look at my plush little, my plush little bathrobe, man. Yeah, Simpson themes got donuts, duff, dough. You know what I'm saying, man? Like, oh, it's soft. I'm loving myself, do my thing. Or I could be like, fuck, man, what the fuck am I doing? I'm in a crawl space just shitting around, just doing nothing. Nah, what, is this really all I want in life? No, I want nice things. I want a mansion. I want to get fucking famous for my astrology career and do crazy things so i can literally be the ultimate finesse lord and just get everything off the strength to just be in me you know what i'm saying so fuck i'm gonna get out of this goddamn crawl space god damn it i've emerged from the world now i can go do my things and stop being a bum in a crawl space but yeah i mean that's just one of the two ways that oh should i fuck you know what so, so a, li- a little sidetrack about me is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, pff, fuck, why do I always get freaking? I gotta just, yeah, you know, so pretty much a little, a little sidetracking about me is, uh, the freaking <laughs> in the crawl space. I, I'm the one who's skinny and maneuverable in the family, so I have to go through the freaking crawl space a lot, right? All I ask is that we have crawl space etiquette and put the dolly right at the entrance of the tall crawl space so I don't have to hurt my fucking knees and I can just wheel around and go get the things that we need. And now I just didn't even do that for myself. God damn it. <laughs> crab walking, crab walking, crab walking. Right, yeah, back to it. All right. <sighs> yeah, let me, let me, let me get back to it. Yeah, I got it. You know, it's hard to riff like this, so I just got to pick my points and then I get my story going once I see it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so here's another thing. So, Venus and Aries people, they also kind of like, they they really, they, so, I gotta kind of explain this, I gotta explain another point to explain this, but, um, they love competition, right? So, and another fac- facet of Venus is relating to others, right? So, they love, they freaking, 
they these are the I am people. So they think about how they come off and how they are seen when they are trying to relate something to others, you know? Because when they are relating this, they had they obviously have an end goal or a freaking, you know, backwards motivation in mind about how uh not backwards, but um, you know, they 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 have a cup, they have a they may they may think they have their intentions below the surface, but they're pretty clear as day if you put two and two together. You know? So these Venus and Aries people, they just love their like analytical they're like oh did i say this right did i say that's right did this come off right in their heads because they're thinking like oh you know i really want to come off this way to this person because if i come off this way i will get this and this is what i want you know what i'm saying so it's so let me come up with an example so if you are under 18 or under 21 and you're going to like a 7-eleven to go get a pack of backwoods because in this day and age everybody smokes weed and backwoods are, you know, they're what the rappers are doing. So obviously the kids are going to do it. So they're going to go to these. So they're going to, so what they're going to do is they're going to hear through the grapevine at the school that this Sunoco on this corner of this and this place doesn't really, they just care about sales. They don't care about ID or however old you are. I mean, obviously to do this 7-Eleven in places like this and now implemented the, if you look under 30, we will scan your ID and you always have to scan an ID to get these, you know, whatever smoke tobacco products you want. You know what I'm saying? So if these kids are walking to this, this, and this place, and obviously nowadays the fake IDs, they scan. So you know how that's going. But um, if they're going to this, this, and this place, a Venus and Aries kid will really care that they come off as adult and they look adult. And then, you know, the clerk is probably going to be like, bro, if you're coming here, you already know that I'm like going to sell you this anyway, because I need the money and you're the majority of my client base. So obviously I'm not going to hold this back from you. And they're going to go up there and they're going to be so overly, they may be so like, boisterous in a way that like they, they'll that the clerk will be like all right just get out of here kid and they'll try to sell you something as quick as possible because you're just like so like i'm acting adult i'm acting adult i care that i come off as an adult you know and you're just acting like you're you probably drop something you probably drop something about doing taxes like oh did you get your 1099 and it's not even tax season like what are you saying you know, and that's just what a Venus and Aries person would do. Like when they're young, then they'll look back and be like, oh, God damn it. I look so fucking stupid and feel bad about themselves for that. But yeah, I mean, that's another thing. But uh, touching on, um, you know, like loving competition and stuff. These motherfuckers need to be first in everything because if you feel because like Aries is the right the fuck now sign, you know, so if you feel like you have to get you have to get like indulgent to your desires and what you love, appreciation and value, you will freaking be like, fuck everybody else in your way. I got to get this now. And you will feel like you have to get that now. Right as the idea pops into your head, you're like, I want a pepperoni pizza now. And then you will try to swindle and like <laughs> manipulate everybody, one of the, everyone in the school office and be like, hey, you need some pizza. You want some pizza? What's going on? Oh, man you want some pizza <laughs> you know and then you'll just try to get that pizza just like that you know and that's pretty much what was going on but um but yeah i mean apply that to like all other situations you know what i'm saying so so if like i mean i guess you can pretty do it for yourself but that, that would just be me coming up with crazy stories on the top of my head but yeah so like if you think about like kids trying like um not kids but um like a beauty series person trying to go do this that and the third and try to be first in everything it will, it'll, you can, I guess what I'm trying to say is you can always like, you can always depict the lesson of a sign by their like deepest desire and what they like to do the most, you know? So Aries likes to come first and they likes, and they like to, you know, do their little swindly, like smooth talking, kind of trying to be a Gemini thing where they're, or trying to be Libra thing, no pun intended, where they're just trying to just like, appear like agreeable but they're trying really try, they really have their own ulterior motives in the back in the back of their mind and that's pretty much like so if you like do the math on that like what is their lesson in life in a way you know their lesson would obviously be to be their their lesson would be them trying to ah fuck man what does i i gotta you know what give me a moment Yeah, their lesson would be them trying to learn how to give to others because they're obviously going through all this work and um, going through all this work to just be like, hey, you want some pizza? I know you want some pizza, man. Come on, it's Friday. It's my day anyway. Just let's get some pizza, man. Have some pizza. You know, like going through all that work of trying to be a swindling motherfucker to get what you want. You know, it would just, it would, you like, life is just trying to teach you that it would be less work 
just to give just to give to others what you want and then let it come back to you in the way that it does you know so like and like most aries people will just give you know that's the lesson that most people should learn but i mean um yeah i mean pretty much just golden rule in it for aries just just i mean you don't have to give up like just trying to be like hey hey yeah you want this and then like if they don't give it to you you can flip and be like ah fuck you you know like, um, you don't have to do that all the time. Like if you just knew the ways of the life and you just, you know, remember a golden rule, everybody's telling you give to others what you want to return to you. Um, or you reap what you sow. Like there's a thousand of them. We all know what it is, but yeah, I mean, uh, to sum it up, Venus and Aries loves themselves. They got to learn how to give to others. They can be relatable if they'd like to. Oh, you know that you've seen it before. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. They'll, they'll just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah they'd be crazy man oh i got another yeah i'll just save that yeah you can figure that one out <laughs>